welcome at our knowledge clip, Research Skills. Today we're going to discuss qualitative research. And again, it's a little bit in the wording, because qualitative research deals with non-numerical data. We don't deal with numbers, no, we deal with words, stories, narratives. Okay, qualitative research methods, of course, we heavily rely on participants. Participants of the study, they need to provide consent, they also have to go through the ethical review committee. The researcher has to go through the ethical review committee to get permission for using participants in qualitative research. And in general, there are three methodologies. The first one is participant observation. The other one is in-depth interviews, usually one-on-one, -on -one, or using a focus group. So that means interviews in group settings that may occur at different points in time. So the measuring instrument is, of course, a very particular topic. You need to do an extensive literature research. You need to look at theoretical frameworks, maybe a little bit of ground, um, grounded social sciences, subject matter. And from there, you're going to design and compile an interview schedule. So I pointed already out that the topics can be found in the literature. It can include sensitive information. Again, you need to have good subject matter to make a good research project in qualitative research. Let me give you an example. An example of qualitative research is, for example, what are the attitudes of elderly people with stroke towards daily use of technology. You know, this could be an example where we are interested in the attitudes of elderly people related to these technologies. So in order to do the data analysis and also to design the questionnaire, you need to code the information. There is open, selective and actual coding. What does that mean? We're going to label the concepts, maybe we're going to develop categories, and we're going to break down core themes. Because when you listen to all these information, you hear narratives, you hear stories, you will hear commonalities or themes when you listen to all the answers that are generated. Here we see an example of a qualitative research. I have to admit, the research is a Dutch research project. It's about exercises. And what we see is that we have in this interview closed-ended questions and open-ended questions. Of course, open-ended questions generate more information. An example of an open-ended question is, what are barriers for you to participate in a regular exercise regime? That would be an example of an open-ended question. If you ask, how many times a week do you exercise? That would be an example of a closed-ended question. Designing good questions is a skill. It's a lot of work. And you need to review those regularly to make it a very good interview. OK. Once you have done your qualitative research project and you're going to bring up the results, you need to clearly describe the participants that are part of your research project. You need to know, of course, how many, a little bit about their background, their gender, their age group, if it's healthy individuals. You need to know the participants quite well and the details of the themes that are related to the research topic. The key point or the take home message after learning about qualitative research is that it is as valuable or important as quantitative research and systematic review. It's not of less quality or validity. It's in-depth research. It's a little bit less rigid. It's more flexible and it allows participants to share opinions, ideas or views. So it is a very valuable tool 
And also keep in mind that conducting qualitative research is not that easy. Don't underestimate it. It requires a lot of practice. Okay, thank you for your attention and see you next time.